Hi guys, and welcome to The Family Fudge. Today I have three special guests helping me in the kitchen. I have my son Jackson, my daughter Lily, and my daughter Mackenzie. And we're gonna share with you two really fun but easy Christmas treats that you can make. First up, we have a very popular Pinterest recipe, which is inspired by the book and the movie, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. This gooey sweet treat is a perfect combination of sweet and salty, and it's perfect for taking to a party. After that, we're going to be making some brownie stuffed Christmas tree cones, which are a great alternative to a gingerbread house. The kids get to make them and decorate them, and they're really tasty too. It's really fun, but really easy. So stay tuned and we will share both of these ideas with you. Okay guys, before we get started, today's video is part of a collaboration with our good friends, the Moss Family, over at the channel Moss Family TV. Now I know I talk about them all the time because I'm probably their number one fan and I can't wait to see what kind of yummy treat they're cooking up. So I'm gonna go ahead and link their video in the description box below. Check it out. Now let's get started. You're going to need 10 cups of pop popcorn. And we are going to add a little bit of salt to eyes. You also need three tablespoons of butter. You also need four cups of mini marshmallows. Three cups of those marshmallows are gonna go into a microwave safe bowl. And we're going to reserve one cup of marshmallows for later. You're also going to need about half a cup of a red chocolate candy. Now you can use any kind you prefer, but we really like the peanut M&Ms. And finally, you're going to need some green food coloring. So now that the kids have helped me to measure everything out, it's time to get started. I'm gonna go ahead and add my butter to my three cups of mini marshmallows. And this is in a microwave safe bowl. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in the microwave for 30 seconds and stir it and then put it in for 30 more seconds and stir it again. We want the marshmallows to be completely melted. This is a lot like making Rice Krispie treats at this point. Once all of the marshmallows and butter are melted and combined, I'm going to add my green food coloring. And we're gonna wanna use quite a lot to get that nice Grinch green color. So now I'm just gonna mix this up and pour it onto the popcorn. And now my husband's going to lend a hand and mix it all up for us. You just wanna get as much of the popcorn coated as possible. Next, I'm going to dump this out onto a parchment lined baking sheet. And then the kids are going to help me with the toppings. We're gonna to go ahead and add our mini marshmallows and our peanut M&Ms. Using my spatula, I'm just gonna go ahead and lightly press the M&Ms and the marshmallows into the popcorn, just so that they'll stick. And now I'm going to set this aside until it's completely cooled. When it is, you can dig in. Now you can actually cut these into squares like Rice Krispie treats, or you can break them up into popcorn balls or clusters, whatever you prefer. Now moving on to our brownie stuffed Christmas tree cones. Here's what you're going to need. One box of brownie mix, any kind you prefer, and all of the ingredients listed on the back, such as oil, water, and eggs. Just follow the recipe on your box, or you can make it from scratch if you'd like. You also need some sugar cones and things to decorate your trees, such as licorice, frosting, and sprinkles lots of Christmas sprinkles. You're also going to need one aluminum pan, and we are gonna cut holes in this, so if you have one that's really well used, that would be perfect. And then to get the brownie mix into our cones, I'm going to use a Ziploc bag. To get started, we're going to prepare our brownie batter. So we're going to add our dry ingredients, our oil, our water, and our eggs. And then mix it up. Now all I have to do is add my brownie batter to my Ziploc bag and move on to the cones. So I've taken my aluminum pan and I flipped it upside down and then my husband helped me to cut holes in it just wide enough for the ice cream cone to fit down inside to keep it upright while baking. And at this point I'm going to preheat my oven at 350 degrees. 
Then I'm going to snip the tip off the end of my Ziploc bag so I can easily pour the batter into the cones. Then I'm going to stick it in the oven. And this is only going to take about 10 minutes because you don't want to burn the cones. While those are in the oven, I'm going to go ahead and prepare my frosting by adding a little bit of green food coloring and mixing it up. Now when the cones come out of the oven, you just have to wait for them to cool down enough to handle. And I actually like to take my cone and dip it directly into my frosting, just like this, and swirl it around. This makes getting the frosting on the cone so much easier. So you just pull it out and then stick it on your plate. And then you can let the kids decorate to their heart's content. Okay friends, thank you so much for joining us today. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to go check out the Moss Family TV's treat as well. Remember, it's linked down below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.